Arachnitophyta consists of only three genera of woody plants grouped in the gymnosperms. The living gnitophytes are a handful of survivors of a group that was diverse and dominant in the tertiary, and fossilized pollen attributed to a close relative of one of them, Ephedra, has been identified in the early Cretaceous. They now comprise some 70 species across the three relic genera Entum, Welwichia, and Ephedra. The gnitophytes differ from other gymnosperms in having vessel elements like those found in flowering plants. In the past, the gnitophyta were thought to be the gymnosperms' closest relations to the flowering plants. However, molecular studies have largely contradicted this hypothesis. Among themselves, the gnitophytes' evolutionary interrelationships remain unclear, however, in some classifications, all three genera are placed in a single order, while in other classifications they are distributed among three orders, each containing a single family and genus. Most morphological and molecular studies confirm that Entum and Welwichia diverged from each other more recently than from Ephedra. Ecology and Morphology The three genera of the gnitophytes are highly specialized to their respective environments, making it difficult to identify homologous characters. The three extant genera of gnitophytes, a bizarre and enigmatic trio, are likely aberrant members of the group. Some synapomorphies of the gnitophytes include enveloping bracts around the ovules and microsporangia, and a micropylar projection of the outer membrane of the ovule that produces a pollination droplet. Entum species are mostly woody climbers in tropical forests. However, the best known member of this group, Entum gnemon, is a tree. In western Malaysia, where it is native, its seeds are used to produce a crispy cracker snack known as emping or krupik balinjo. Welwichia comprises only one species, Welwichia mirabilis. It grows only in the extremely dry deserts of Namibia and Angola. This strange ground-hugging species has only two large strap-like leaves that grow continuously from the base throughout the plant's life. Plants of the genus Ephedra are known as joint fears in the western United States because they have long slender branches which bear tiny scale-like leaves at their nodes. Infusions from ephedra have been traditionally used as a stimulant, but ephedrine is a controlled substance today in many jurisdictions because of the risk of harmful or even fatal overdosing. Fossil gnitophyta Knowledge of fossils of the gnitophytes has increased greatly since the 1980s. There are fossils from the Permian, the Triassic, and the Jurassic which may belong to the gnitophytes, but this is uncertain. The fossil record is richer starting in the early Cretaceous with fossils of plants as well as seeds and pollen which can be clearly assigned to the gnitophytes. Classification With just three well-defined genera within an entire division, there still is understandable difficulty in establishing an unambiguous interrelationship among them. In earlier times matters were even more difficult and we find for example Pearson in the early 20th century speaking of the class entails, rather than the order. G. H. M. Lawrence referred to them as an order, but remarked that the three families were distinct enough to deserve recognition as separate orders. Foster and Gifford accepted this principle, and placed the three orders together in a common class for convenience, which they called Ntopsida. In general the evolutionary relationships among the seed plants still are unresolved, and the Gnitophyta have played an important role in the formation of phylogenetic hypotheses. Molecular phylogenies of extant gymnosperms have conflicted with morphological characters with regard to whether the gymnosperms as a whole comprise a monophyletic group or a paraphyletic one that gave rise to angiosperms. At issue is whether the gnitophyta are the sister group of angiosperms, or whether they are sister to, or nested within, other extant gymnosperms. Numerous fossil gymnosperm clads once existed that are morphologically at least as distinctive as the four living gymnosperm groups, such as Bonetitales, Chitonia and Aglossopterids. When these gymnosperm fossils are considered, the question of gnitophyte relationships to other seed plants becomes even more complicated. Several hypotheses, illustrated below, have been presented to explain seed plant evolution. Recent research by Lee K. Sibrian Jaramilloa, A. L. suggests that the Gnitophyta are a sister group to the rest of the gymnosperms, contradicting the anthophyte hypothesis, which held that Gnitophytes were sister to the flowering plants. Equals anthophyte hypothesis equals 
From the early 20th century, the anthophyte hypothesis was the prevailing explanation for seed plant evolution, based on shared morphological characters between the gnitophytes and angiosperms. In this hypothesis, the gnitophytes, along with the extinct order Bonetitales, are sister to the angiosperms, forming the anthophytes. Some morphological characters that were suggested to unite the anthophytes include vessels in wood, net veined leaves, lignin chemistry, the layering of cells in the apical meristem, pollen and megaspore features, short cambial initials, and lignin serenal groups. However, most genetic studies have rejected the anthophyte hypothesis. Several of these studies have suggested that the gnitophytes and angiosperms have independently derived characters, including flower-like reproductive structures and tracheid vessel elements, that appear shared but are actually the result of parallel evolution. Equals Gnetve hypothesis equals, in the Gnetve hypothesis, the gnitophytes are sister to the conifers, and the gymnosperms are a monophyletic group, sister to the angiosperms. The Gnetve hypothesis first emerged formally in the mid-20th century, when vessel elements in the gnitophytes were interpreted as being derived from tracheids with circular bordered pits, as in conifers. It did not gain strong support, however, until the emergence of molecular data in the late 1990s. Although the most salient morphological evidence still largely supports the anthophyte hypothesis, there are some more obscure morphological commonalities between the gnitophytes and conifers that lend support to the Gnetve hypothesis. These shared traits include, tracheids with scalariform pits with tori interspersed with annular thickenings, absence of scalariform pitting and primary xylem, scale-like and strap-shaped leaves of ephedra and wellwichia, and reduced sporophylls. Equals Gnetvine hypothesis equals, the Gnetvine hypothesis is a modification of the Gnetve hypothesis, and suggests that the gnitophytes belong within the conifers as a sister group to the Pinaceae. According to this hypothesis, the conifers as currently defined are not a monophyletic group, in contrast with molecular findings that support its monophyly. All existing evidence for this hypothesis comes from molecular studies within the last decade. However, the morphological evidence remains difficult to reconcile with the Gnetvine hypothesis. If the gnitophytes are nested within conifers, they must have lost several shared derived characters of the conifers, narrowly triangular leaves, resin canals, a tiered proembryo, and flat woody ovuliferous cone scales. These kinds of major morphological changes are not without precedent in the Pinaceae, however, the Taxaceae, for example, have lost the classical cone of the conifers in favor of a single terminal ovule surrounded by a fleshy aerial. Equals gnitophyte sister hypothesis equals, some partitions of the genetic data suggest that the gnitophytes are sister to all of the other extant seed plant groups. However, there is no morphological evidence nor examples from the fossil record to support the gnitophyte sister hypotheses. References Other sources, Gifford, Ernest M., Adrian S. Foster. 1989. Morphology and Evolution of Vascular Plants. Third edition. W. H. Freeman and Company, New York. Hilton, Jason, and Richard M. Bateman, 2006. Pteridosperms are the backbone of seed plant phylogeny. Journal of the Terre Botanical Society 133, 119 168.